lovely humans, welcome to today's full body fitness workout. Today, you're going to want to have a heavy dumbbell, a medium sized dumbbell, a light sized dumbbell, five pounds or less, a resistance band for your booty, and a step stool. Or if you don't have a step stool, you could use a couple of textbooks stacked up on top of each other, anything for a latch. You'll also want to have either your couch, a footrest, the edge of your bed, ready for some of the exercises as well. Let's get ready to slay the day. Let's get fired up and ready to work our bodies today. Reach your arm up overhead, palm faces downward, reach and stretch through your fingertips as you stretch and lengthen through your side body for four, Three, two, one, and done. Kickstand your heel, lengthen your spine as you scoop your arms down. Repeat on the other side, kickstand your heel, reach your arms long and scoop. Heel down, toes up as you scoop. Hands at your hips, keep your spine nice and long. Feel a quick stretch to the back of your thigh, your hamstrings. Last four here. Last three here. Last two here. Last one. And up. Reach back. Grab your heel, pull it to your butt. For a quad stretch, quick little dynamic stretch through the front side of your thigh. For four, three, two, one, and done. Take a wider stance with your feet, toes out, heels in, lunge deep into one side, come back through center, lunge deep into the other side, back through center, knee goes the same direction as your toes, torso stays lifted. Breathe into your inner thighs. Last four. Drive through your heels. Last three. Last two. Last one. And come down to the floor. Grab your five pound or less weights. Lay down onto your back. Pull your low ribs in. Your back's gonna wanna arch. So you wanna make sure you pull your low ribs so you keep your back flat. So I cannot slam my head underneath you. Lift your shins so they're parallel to the floor. Flex your toes back towards your face. Reach your arms straight up to the scalp. Opposite arm, opposite leg extends. You exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale, opposite arm, opposite leg extends. For your dead bugs. Focus on that core engagement. Pull your low ribs in. A little bit of coordination work here as well. Start to feel your core fire up. Continue to pull your low ribs in. Exhale as you extend. Inhale as you bring yourself back to center. Nice long body. Last four here. Doing good. Last three here. Yes, yes. Last two here. Nice work. Last one each side. And uh, next work, release the weights. Grab your resistance band. Put it around your legs, either below me or above me. If above me, it's gonna ride up your legs and cause discomfort. I like below me personally, so that doesn't happen. You can move your five pound weights out of the support. Lay back down onto your back. Drive through your heels, lift up, squeeze your butt. Lower all the way back down to the floor. Lift up, squeeze your butt. 
lower all the way back down. So you fight the resistance band. It's going to want to draw your knees together. You continue to drive your knees out with your toes. Same direction. Squeeze your butt every time you get to the top. Raising your hips up to the sky. Lowering all the way back down to the floor. Squeezing your cheeks. So you fire our glutes up. So they're ready to work for us today. Squeeze them nice and tight. Final five. Four. Three. Last two. Nobody eight. Last one. Ooh. Hug your knees into your chest. Breathe a massage rock side to side. Keep the resistance band around your legs. Rock front to back. Front to back. Try to gain enough momentum, maybe. Come up to a stand position or come up to standing however best you can. Take your feet slightly wider, then hip distance apart, toes out, heels in. We're gonna squat down, just a quarter squat down, slow and controlled, you send your movement. So going down for four, three, two, one, come up tall, squeeze your butt. So you get down for four, three, two, one, and squeeze your butt. Push your booty muscles back here and squeeze. Notice my knees drive out wide, so you fight that resistance band. And come up and squeeze nice and tight, drive it out wide. Come up tall and squeeze, looking good, drive it out wide. Come up tall and squeeze, final four here, drive it out. Nice control tempo, control all the way down. Up nice and strong, last two here. Yes, yes, feel the legs fired up, ready to bring it today. Last one, we made it. Woo! And done. Uh, you take off that resistance band, and grab your heavy weights, and let's get moving. <laughs> Our first superset today is going to be get it after the sumos. We have four sets of 12 reps for each exercise. Sumo deadlifts, which is sumo squats. Fill in the fire in our thighs and in our glutes. Grab two of your heavy weights. Take a wide stance here for our sumo deadlift. Heels in, toes slightly outwards. Chest step, you're gonna bring the weights right in between your legs. As you push your butt back, soft bend in your knees, keep your spine long. Come tall, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your shoulder blades back, and you push your butt way back. Come tall and squeeze your butt. Weights come right in between your legs. Find your arch to your foot to your heel. Push your booty back. Squeeze your butt at the top. Drop it down nice and low. Come tall and squeeze it tight. Yes, you got it. Start to feel your buns and your hamstrings on the back of your thighs. Fire up. Final six. Let's get it in. Inhale as you lower down. Exhale, come back up. Last three here. Last two here. Nice. Last one here. Woo. Good work. We're going to keep our sumo stance for sumo squats. Toes out, heels in. So I'm bend your knees out wide as you squat. Come up tall and squeeze your butt. Squat down and squeeze. Knees drive out wide with your toes. Chest is lifted. Weights come right in between the legs. Drive through your heel to mid foot. Nice work. Final six. Home stretch. Let's get to five. Keep driving your knees out wide. Last five. Chest up, chest up, core tight. Home stretch. Final three. Last two, last one, nice work. Take a quick 30 second rest. Second set, let's get after it. Weights come right in between your legs, heels in, toes slightly out, chest up, soft bend your knees, push your booty way back, come on tall, squeeze your glutes, push your butt way back, Come tall and squeeze. Keep your spine long. 
lift your chest up. Push your butt muscles way back. Really focus on activating your glutes. So focus on pushing your butt muscles back. And notice that that helps you get even greater intensity out of this exercise. Home stretch, let's finish it up. Final five. One's a steal, baby, last four. Three. Last two. Nice job, you made it, last one. Woo. Good work, good work. Heading into our super squat. Bring your toes up just a little bit more, chest up. Weight right in between your legs. Drop it all the way down. Come to tall squeeze. Drive your knees out wide. Squeeze your butt at the top. Keep your chest lifted. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you stand up. Home stretch, home stretch. Let's get after it. Team, feel the find your legs. Love that sensation. Last four. Make it a cat, last three. And make some work. You got this final two. Last one, we made it. Woo! Nice work. Take the legs out, take a quick rest, and let's get after it again. Our next set is going to be four sets of 12 for both exercises. Bend over rows, two on the floor for our floor rotating chest press. Let's get after it and smash our upper bodies. Woo. Grab your heavy set of weights for our bent over rows. Roll your shoulders back. Toes point straight forward. Push your butt way back. Palms face towards you. Roll straight up to your chest. Lower all the way back down. Straight up to your chest and release. Squeeze your back muscles tight. Look straight forward with your neck. So your neck stays long for the rest of your body. Home stretch. Let's get after it. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Breathe here. Final three. Two. One. Killer work. And down to the floor. Lay down onto your back. Lift your weights up. Palms face away from you. Rotating chest across. Turn lower down so that your palms face towards each other. Hug your elbows in. Exhale, push as you rotate palms face away. Rotate palms face towards each other. Exhale, push away palms face. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, push and rotate. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, push and rotate. Feel the thigh in your chest and your arms. And keep on working it. Home stretch, home stretch, you got this. Working through that burn. Loving that sensation, feeling alive today. Final four. You made it last three. Yes, you got this last two. Ooh. Last one. And done. Nice work on that first set. Let's get after it. Round two. After a short 30 second rest. Bent over rows. Let's get after it. Shoulders back. Toes point straight forward. Push your butt straight back. Long spine. Look forward. Inhale as you lower. Axe as you grow up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. As you drive your elbows up high, lift the weights up to your chest. Keep your body long. Pull your belly button in. Keep your torn nice and tight. Yes, you got this. Home stretch. Final five. Four. Yes, you can. Three. Two. You might have one. Bring it on down. Rotating chest press. Onto your back. Lift your weights up. Palm face away from you. Feet flat on the floor. Head on the floor. Inhale as you lower down. Palm face towards each other. Exhale as you push the weight away. Inhale as you lower. Hug your elbows in. Exhale, push. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push. 
little rotation in the body. It's good for us. We're making it happen today. Feel proud of yourself for showing up. Put it in the work. Got now, home stretch. Let's get it. Final five. Four. Last three. Yes. Last two. Last one. And time. Awesome work. Catch your air and get ready for your next set. Our next superset today is going to be hip thrust, where you'll want to have your couch or your footrest handy for you, to feet elevated plank plus a hip abduction. So stepping your foot out to the side, you'll want your resistance band and your step stool for this exercise. We got three sets of 12 for the hip thrust and 20 for the feet step outs. Or I like to think of it, 10 each side, if you want to think of it that way too. Hip thrust. Get right behind your bra line or your shoulder blades onto either your couch, a foot rest of my case, or if you have a bunch, of course, you can You're going to grab one or two heavy weights. You could typically go heavier on this exercise. If it's uncomfortable, have the weights in your lap, you could also use a either blanket or maybe a mat rolled up on top of your lap and then the foot the weights on your mat that, onto your lap that way. So stack the weights. Tuck your chin. Really come into the head to arch back and you can hyper your spine. So tuck your chin. Point your toes straight forward. Drive through your heels, squeeze your butt. Lower all the way back down. Drive up and squeeze. Lower down. Squeeze your glutes. Lower down. Squeeze your core. Find the legs up, find your booty up. Working it good here with what you got at home. Feels solid, huh? Home stretch, home stretch. Keep squeezing your butts. Keep your chin tucked. You got this final push. We're done in four. Three. Last two. You made it last one. Woo. Nice work. You can ditch those weights off to the side. I recommend using either a step stool. If you don't have a step stool, you can stack several bookcases on top of each other. Or bookcases, books on top of each other instead. Or anything else that you can think of to give yourself a little bit of a ledge for you to put your feet on top of. Grab your resistance band. Bring it up. Either below knee or above knee, same thing if it's right and if you leg a lot, you could go below knee. It's my personal preference here. So your legs are out, spread your fingers really wide. Make sure that your foot's towards the center of your foot rest so it doesn't lift up here. Hands underneath your shoulders, ground down through your palms, you now the faces forward. Squeeze your core. Take your foot out to the side, back onto the step, out to the side. Back up onto the step, you'll find your core and in your glutes. You can possibly do your upper body as well. Full body work here. Keep the lift the entire time. Fight the dump of your low back. Fight the pike of your hips. Continue to squeeze your butt as you take your leg wide to the side. Work against that resistance point. Control on the way back as well as in. Home stretch, let's get it in. Last one, each side. And on. Woo. Awesome work. We're gonna smash that little booty for a series. Take a quick rest and get after the set again. We have a tricep coming up to really attack our upper body. We have eight reps for preacher curls, firing up your biceps. We're then gonna go into frontal raises, 10 reps for the shoulders. We'll finish off the burnout with 12 dips. We're gonna go through this tricep three times. Let's hit it and have some fun with it. Let's grow our biceps, baby. Grab your heavy, medium, maybe lighter set of weight, whatever you can use for your bicep. 
elbow onto your thigh, lengthen your arm long, control on the way up as well. Keep your wrist stacked with the rest of your forearms, so you're curling only through the bicep, not through the wrist. And take this exercise with control. Our muscles like time under tension, so if you want those gains that I know you do, take it slow and controlled rather than trying to swim. Keep your spine nice and long here. And exhale through the tough ones. Home stretch, final three. You got this last two. Last one. Ooh, nice work. We'll stop the side. Elbow right onto your thigh. Feeling it long, controlled, slow. Lowering it down. Control on the way up. Curl down. Control, squeeze your bicep, really focus on that muscle doing the work here. Thighs on fire, baby, get after it. Home stretch, home stretch, you got this. Keep it real here. Last three, that's it. You've done it before on the last side, you can do it on this side. Last two. You made it, last one. Woo. Nice work. I'll move this weight off to the side. Grab your medium to lighter set of weights. For alternating front to raise. Using straight up, controlling on the way down as well. Right up to your shoulder level, and control as you lower, so you don't let gravity take over. We use our muscles to work here. Once again, exhale through the top point. So exhale as you rise. Inhale as you lower. And exhale to get up. Inhale as you lower. Feel the fire in your shoulders. Work through that. Yes, you're looking strong today. Keeping it real. Keep it all the way. Let's go. Feel the fire. Work through that fire. I know you got this. You do it too. Last three each side. I just want to feel alive. Last two each side. You made it, last one, each side. Woo. And rest, nice little work. And move those weights off to the side. Bring your hands onto the edge here, right under your shoulders, elbow creases forward. Four dips, lowering down, hug your elbows in, press up, squeeze. Lower down, and squeeze. Keep your body nice and long here. Pull your core in tight. Push through your palms, drive yourself up top. Feel the thigh, your triceps, and the burn out through the shoulders. Last little set of this tricep here. Home stretch, home stretch, you've got this. Burn. Last three. Last two. Last one. Awesome, Josh, shake it off, shake it off. Take a quick rest and we'll hit this tricep again. You made it to your last tricep of the day. We're gonna fire up our entire bodies on this last tricep. We're gonna start with lat pullovers for 12 reps. You're gonna wanna have either your bed or a couch or a foot rest for yourself to lay on to be able to reach your arms up overhead, firing up our lats, just what it sounds like. We're then gonna go into a hip extension hold. Hold and at the top, squeeze your butt, squeeze your hamstrings, breathe through that fire. 30 seconds on, take a quick 10 second rest, and then you're gonna hit it for another 30 seconds on. Our last part to this tricep, you're gonna wanna have your couch, your foot rest, anything to get your feet elevated for a feet elevated side plank. 
30 seconds on each side. We're gonna go through this tricep three times, and then we'll cool it down and be done. Let's get ready to attack this final burden. With your heavy to medium weight, lie down on to, I recommend a foot rest or along the side of your back. So you space reach your arms over. And then all the way down, make sure your head is supported and your hips are supported. Lift the weight up. Pull your low ribs in, just like the dead bugs, you must keep your back flat, like the arch of the spine, pull your low ribs in. Get your arms straight up overhead, lengthen, squeeze back to center. Inhale to lengthen long. Exhale to bring your arms through center. Long arms, tight core, flat spine. Get it at home, working your lats, your back. Feel the fire here, keep working through. Home stretch, home stretch, you got this. Making it happen today. Final four here, that's it, that's it. Last three here. I just want to feel alive. Last two here. Last one. Super strong. Nice work. With one or two heavy weights. Grab your weights, place them onto your hips. Lay down onto your back. Drive through your heels, lift your hips, squeeze your butt. And you're just gonna hold this for 30 seconds on the clock. Breathe in through it, keep your chin tucked. Squeeze your butt the entire time. Feel the fire in your hamstrings, feel the fire in your booty. Continue to breathe. Home stretch, home stretch, final 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, quick 10 second rest. And we're gonna get back up for another 30. We're going three, two, lift up, squeeze your butt. Squeeze your hamstrings. Lift your hips up all the way. Keep your chin to your chest, head on the floor. Remember to breathe. Final 10, that's it, that's it, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, amazing job. Move those legs up to the side. Last part to our tricep. Feet up onto your foot rest here for a feet elevated side plank. That's too much, you can always do side plank on the floor, even drop the bottom knee down if you need to go on the back. Spread your fingers wide, turn your elbow creases forward. This also create stability in your shoulder girdle. Get your feet up on towards the edge. Stack your hips. Lift your hips up like a little banana. Pull your lower ribs in. Reach and stretch through your top fingertips. And really round down to the entirety of your palm and your finger pads. Breathe here. If you need balance, look at your bottom hand. If you feel balance, you begin to direct your gaze up towards your top hand. Final 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice work. Skip over your feet. Lift your hips up. Find your balance on this side. Squeeze your low ribs in. Squeeze your butt. Reach and stretch through your top hand. If you need balance, look at your bottom hand. If you feel balanced, you begin to direct your gaze up towards your top hand. Final 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. Give yourself a round of applause for finishing today's workout, attacking your entire body. You should be proud of your hard work today. Now let's cool it down, stretch it out, and restore so we can feel good in our bodies and carry on with our day. Place the soles of your feet together. 
Press your hips closer towards your heels. Squeeze your glutes. Place your hands behind you to open your hips up even more. And breathe deeply here into the tightness of your inner thighs and your groin, your hip flexors. Allow your breath to help the space open up more and more. Gently press yourself away. Your knees in. Extend one leg long. Cross your right leg over your left. Flex your left toes back towards your face. Round down through your right big toe mill. Take a deep breath in, hug your right thigh close to your chest. So place your right hand next to your right hip. Inhale, reach your left arm tall. Exhale, twist, lift up outside of your right thigh. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, deep in your twist. Inhale for length and space. Exhale for depth and twist. One more deep breath in. Full exhale out. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, count to rest. Inhale, come through center. So place your right foot into your left inner thigh. Flex your left toes back towards your face. See if it's your legs, you can create a greater than a 90 degree angle while still keeping your left leg coming straight up from where your hips are. Place your left hand by your left hip. Inhale, reach right arm tall. Exhale, reach across and grab your outer right calf. Ankle, maybe your foot. Inhale, reach up with your left arm, lengthen your spine. Grab a hold of wherever you can. Exhale, forehead towards knee or chin towards chin. Inhale, halfway leg, lengthen your spine one more time. Exhale, fold into your depth. Gently walk your hands back towards your hips. Hug your right knee into your chest. Send your right leg long. Give your legs a little shake and shake. Hug your left knee into your chest. Cross your left leg over your right. Flex your right toes back towards your face and ground down through your left big toe mount. Take a deep breath in. Hug your left thigh close to your chest. Exhale, place your left hand by your left hip. Right hand by you. Give your hips a little shake, shake. Hug your left knee into your chest. Cross your left leg over your right. Ground down through your left big toe mount. Flex your right toes back towards your face. Take a deep breath in, hug your left leg close to your chest. Exhale, place your left hand by your left hip. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, twist right elbow outside of your left thigh. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, use your arm strength to help you twist. Look over your back shoulder, so your neck's in the twist, just one more deep breath in. Full exhale out. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, counter twist. Inhale, come through center. Place the sole of your left foot into your right inner thigh. Flex your right toes back towards your face. Place your right hand by your right hip and see if you can create a greater than a 90 degree angle with your legs while still keeping your right thigh right up from its hip socket. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, reach across, grab your outer calf, ankle, maybe your foot. Inhale, reach up with your opposite arm. Grab a hold wherever you can. Exhale, forehead towards knee, chin towards chin. Inhale, halfway lift, find more space and lengthen your spine. Exhale, square your shoulders over your leg. Breathe into the tightness of your back, quadratus and board, as well as your hamstrings, your calf. 
maybe even in your shoulder a little bit as you reach free. Gently walk your hands back towards your hips. Hug your knee in. Extend your leg long. Give your legs a little shake a shake. Find a comfortable seat. Add a comfortable seat to you. Inhale, reach your arms up. So, and as your fingers flip your palms, lengthen your spine, pull your abs in. Inhale. Exhale, lean to your right. And I'll reach and stretch through your top hand. Exhale, spiral your hip open as you glue your left hip down. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, push to around your spine, pull your belly in. Inhale, lengthen up through center. Exhale, flip your palms, pull your lower ribs in. Take a deep breath and grow tall in your spine. Exhale, lean to your left. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, spiral your heart open, glue your right hip down. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, sweep your arms down and back. Hop your chest up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw up your shoulders down. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend your elbow, walk your fingertips down your back. Push your bicep back with your head, grow tall here. Inhale, reach your arms up. So bend your elbow, walk your fingertips down your back. Inhale, reach the center. Exhale, sweep down. Bring your palms, palms to your heart center. And give yourselves a round of applause. Awesome work today. If you liked today's workout, and I know you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. And comment below. I want to hear from you. What was your favorite exercise? What was most challenging for you? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to film yourself or reach out to me and connect further on Instagram, you can follow me at Coach Maddie Jones. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and feel good about yourself and your effort today. It was amazing. Mwah.